Hey guys and welcome to week 21 no week 22 excuse me um of Sheikah's VSG life thank you so much for watching and subscribing and liking and sharing and all that I'm gonna get this stuff away out of the way in the beginning of the video if you want to follow my weight loss journey make sure you hit the subscribe button and then hit the little bell I have a new video every single week if you want to see the change in real time you can follow me on Instagram which is the exact same name as my YouTube channel. It's Sheikah's VSG Life. I'm a little more open there because it's something I can do daily. So there's picture, meal prep, if you watch any of my Instagram stories, there's things about me out and about, doctor visit updates and stuff. My Instagram is updated daily. I only do the YouTube channel weekly. This week, I just wanted to show you guys um, some meal prep that I am doing. I'm not prepping for lunch or anything i'm only prepping for my breakfast food and my snack food so i just wanted to show you guys what i typically have as a snack throughout the week so um stay tuned so you guys can see so we're talking about snacks the probably one of my most favorite snacks and it's really really inexpensive um i got it at whole foods it was two for ten if you have an amazon prime membership this bad boy watermelons so I am very big on trying to get my fruits and vegetables in and that thing is heavy um I prep it all about a week prior one whole watermelon will last me about seven days I eat a lot of watermelon so I'll show you guys kind of like how I um have my watermelon prepped and everything and then what makes it a little easy to access so here is my watermelon prep for the week and this little container was actually what I was about to show you guys. The cookies are Sean's um, but I do eat like two or three cookies a week but I typically just scrape it out with a spoon and I'll eat a little bit of this. This is four and a half ounces of watermelon. Watermelon is basically water so I can eat three of those and not feel full but this is one whole watermelon and honestly Please do not ask where I um, purchased these containers because I did not buy them. When I was super fat, I ate Italian ice every single night and I always got a quart of it. So obviously, I had a problem. So I kept all of them and I currently use them for watermelon storage. Um, another snack I have throughout the week is cheese. Ignore my sparse refrigerator. I have not gone grocery shopping yet, but I literally am obsessed with cheese so I'm eating cheese all the time and then I grab these if I'm in a hurry and I don't have time to meal prep um, but I'm using these for my breakfast prep and I'll show you guys in just a second for breakfast um, I purchased a lot of this stuff a little earlier in the week and I've been really really excited to experiment with it now I will put the recipe in the description it's something that I made up but I'm very very excited to see how it turns out so right here I have five ounces of chopped broccoli and then in this little bowl over here I have three ounces of chopped sausage. Over here I have four eggs. I typically only get the six pack of eggs because this will last me an entire week. So I have four eggs in here and there's cheese too. I don't think you guys can see it but there's also cheese in there because I am putting cheese inside of my little wonton breakfast cups that's what i'm calling them um i'm using a muffin pan now the first time i made these i sprayed the muffin pan with um cooking spray and i put the wonton wrappers in there and i'm not even gonna lie you guys it was horrible do not mean the food was horrible it was horribly hard to get my food out of the pan so i'm using muffin um cups because that way I'll be able to just pull them right out and take them with me. I'm also cooking my um, broccoli and my sausage in organic coconut oil. Now you don't have to use this. I use it because there's no carbs and it's high fat. Now I'm not keto anymore, but I um, have actually noticed that honestly, the more calories I eat and the more fat I eat, and this has... It is 120 calories per tablespoon. That's a lot. I'm not actually ingesting it. I'm just cooking with it. But any little bit of calories can help. In the last month, I've lost 16.8 pounds. And it's literally since I upped my calories. But you guys probably don't care about that. Let's get back to the food, right? So I'm going to saute these on medium-high heat 
with just two table teaspoons, excuse me, two teaspoons of coconut oil. The only seasoning I have on here right now is pepper. I don't actually eat salt anymore. Pre-op, I had very, very high blood pressure, so I completely eliminated salt from my diet unless salt is already added to something that I'm eating. So I do not add any extra salt to eggs or anything. So the eggs I just showed you guys, there's no salt in it. There's literally four eggs and about... I want to say one third cup of cheese. Again, I'm making this up as I go along, so I don't want you guys to think that this is like some fancy recipe. Again, putting the recipe in the comments if you guys want to make it and tell me um, what you thought or if you like it. I'm only adding broccoli because I literally eat no vegetables. Right, so now I'm doing the sausage, same pan. I didn't add any more oil, so I'm just using whatever oil was left over. I didn't cook the broccoli completely because it's going to cook while it's in the oven. And I'm just going to cook this enough until they're kind of crispy because I like my meat crispy. I'm going to cook it a little crispy. I also like my meat dark, but that's for another video. So here are the wontons that I'm using. I'll get a little closer. These are Frida's wonton wrappers. Um, zero fat. 11 grams of carbs, so like 8 or 9 net carbs, 0 grams of sugar, 2 grams of protein, and the sodium on here is 115 milligrams, so I'm getting my salt in. So here's the back. Had these before. I really, really like them. Um, I would typically just make, honestly, I made cream cheese wontons like 6 months ago and they were so good, but I love these. They're egg-free. They're organic and they're supposed to be vegan or whatever. But um, it's 12 ounces. So I'm going to make six of these little egg wraps. It's my breakfast in the morning. So it's going to be my breakfast from Tuesday through Sunday. So I said I was going to put everything in with the eggs. So there's the broccoli. There's the sausage. There's the eggs and cheese. So you don't have to do it this way. If you're one of those people who likes layers, you can literally in the... Um, Wrappers, you can go ahead and put your eggs and cheese in first, and then you can just set in some sausage and some broccoli, but I like to do it like this, so that my wonton cups are kind of like, so they're full. I don't like everything settling to the bottom, and I also wanted a good mix of stuff, so I'm about to pour these in the wrappers. A big word of caution with the wonton wrappers, if you're not using them right away, do not take them out of the fridge until you're about to put them in the oven. So I'm just filling the cups up. It's okay if they overflow because honestly, you're going to eat it anyways. So cool. So I actually measured correctly for once. So I made exactly enough to fit the six wonton cups that I have. I have preheated the oven to 400 degrees. If you listen to Juvenile, you get the reference. But preheat the oven to 400 degrees, pop them in the oven. They only need to be in here for about 10 minutes. So I'll be back once they're done. All right, so I just pulled them out of the oven. Um, I left them in there for about 12 minutes because I like when the wonton cups get like a little crispy and you see they fluff up because of all the eggs. Um, I'm not sure how many ounces each of these are, so I'm going to weigh one of them in a second so you guys can see. But I'm going to let them cool off a bit before um, I weigh one of them. And honestly, I'm probably going to eat one too because I'm starving. All right, got my trusty little Taylor scale here. I got this from Target for like I want to say like $15 and it's super dirty because I use it constantly let's see how much this bad boy weighs huh. 1.9 ounces so if I was feeling a little hungry I could probably eat three of these and be perfectly fine but that's 1.9 ounces of deliciousness I'm going to open up the wrapper in a second so you can see what it looks like So I lied about taking it off 
because it's really hot and some of the egg leaked down into them so it's really hard to take off but here's what it looks like on the inside and I'll give you a little better view of them close up so you see the broccoli we got some sausage we got some cheese up there super crispy um, if you let them sit for a while, because the last time I did this, I had to let them sit for like 20 minutes before I could take the wrapper off, it would be a lot easier, but you can literally just grab one of these and go get you a little spoon. Um, I'm going to eat one right now. I typically top it with sour cream because it's my favorite thing in the world. You can also put salsa on them. And in one time I put cream cheese on them and I also put honey on one time. It kind of tasted like a McGriddle, but like healthier. But let me know what you guys think, and I am going to put it in the description. So I'm going to take a bite. But as you can see, broccoli, sausage, egg, and cheese. Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> so that's it for me, you guys. I'm going to eat one of these and sit. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry for talking with my mouth full, but mmm. Back and I'm not chewing anymore. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Again, let me know in the comments if you guys like it or anything. If you'd like to see more videos like this, again, send me an email if you guys want to talk. My email is sheikasvsgjourney at gmail.com. Always follow me on Instagram if you want things that are daily and up to date or you just want to see how i'm doing this chica's vsg life make sure you guys like share and subscribe and have a wonderful wonderful week bye